Hello my friends of Hatri Labs, uh, my name is Saul Montoya. Uh, welcome to this tutorial about how to calculate um, terrain volume with uh, from a raster with QAS3. So this procedure is pretty simple and is not very common. Okay, imagine that you want to know the volume of a terrain and let's see in this tutorial we are going to see how we can do it. Okay, so you will receive a um, a folder that will call that will be called calculate the terrain volume with QS3. Okay, and then here there is a raster. The raster has to be in UTM. Okay, so if you go to properties and here on information it has to be a UTM. Otherwise you cannot do it because if you are working in geographics you will have a, a mixture in between the volume of degrees and meters. Okay, so it will be a mess. Okay, so here I'm going to apply um, symbology. Okay, great. So here I have a symbology. And um, what else do I have? What do I have here is, for example, I create some contour lines with the processing toolbox. So with the processing toolbox, that is actually this one, I create some contour. Contour, contours. I do. I have my QAS in in Spanish, but it is same in English. So I will have the contour every 50 meters. Okay, great. So I put some labels on elevation and some shade. Apply for okay, great. So now I want to see which is the volume above the above the elevation of 2400. Okay, so I want to see with how many meters of terrain cubic meters of terrain it is are above um, 2400. For example, if I want to to measure the amount of quantity to do some. Um, air movement or like in order to 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 do some any other kind of analysis okay so how we can do it um, you have to do some there is a this is a raster volume is a tool that comes from Sagagis yeah and it's pretty straightforward so you just have to click on raster volume and it will ask for the grid we have this grid that is in in UTM, okay? And then you see you have four methods. You can do the volume that is above, the volume that is below. Uh, you can subtract volume below base level, Oop. and but we are going to see cone only above base level, okay? So we are going to have the the volume that is above the 2400 so say 2400 okay and then we say apply uh -huh. supply okay and the cell size and so on and they say okay what is the volume the volume is here and this is the volume no this is the base level this is the method this is the grid okay and uh, these are the transformations and so on and the volume is this one okay and this is the volume of millions of cubic meters okay yeah so this is actually 166 millions of cubic meters that is the volume above this elevation okay great so this is the tutorial is pretty straightforward i hope that you find this um, useful for your studies and i had to do it this for reservoir for example okay and see you in comment tutorials i uh, hope that you have a great day my name is hormoto if you like this video please give it a like to this to, to if you like this video give it a like and subscribe to our youtube channel if you have not done it before okay bye bye bye